Hello and welcome back guys with a brand new series and in this series we talk about the electronic passive components especially in, in details uh, the resistors, capacitors, potentiometers and all other components including varistors and all the passive components. So let's get started with the introduction. Electronic components are the basic building blocks of any electronic circuits and uh, electronic components are very small cheap and have two or more than two terminals depend upon the mm, component when a group of electronic components is connected together in a pcb or printed circuit board a useful electronic circuit is formed basically an electronic circuit is a combination of electric uh, uh, electronic passive components and electronic active components so that's why electronic components are classified as uh, passive components which includes uh, resistors, capacitors, inductors, uh, semiconductors, uh, varistors, potentiometers, thermistors and many other components. And in active components includes tube devices and semiconductor, some of the semiconductor devices. So uh, first we talk about if uh, about the resistors uh, in details then resistors as you know are the electronic components that are used to oppose the flow of current or to control the flow of current uh, resistance is the basically the property of material which opposes the flow of current to it unit of resistance is ohm as you know here we have the symbol of resistors and here we have the mathematical forms of the resistance that is equal v over I. Basically, this is uh, uh, you can say uh, Ohm law. If you know about, I also created a video in a stars. I will ensure in the above I buttons the video of Ohm's law. You can easily understand the Ohm law using that video. So, if we uh, see it, it becomes easy that resistors is equal a uh, resistor breaker, speed breaker. You can see. Here an electrons is moving in a wire and here we have a speed breaker or resistors that will slow down the speed of these electrons. It means the resistor slow down the flow of electrons and the flow of electrons is also called as current. So if we talk about the resistor color tables you didn't need to take worry about it because mm, you can easily understand by a hint what is the hint hint is here. B.B. Roy, Great Britain, very good woman. Why we need to memorize these ones to understand these color codings? Because you can check out here black, brown, so B.B., red, orange, yellow, Roy, and uh, green uh, for great, uh, blue for Britain, and very for violet, and uh, then gray for good, and white for a woman again. So this is the you know, simple hint to memorize this that the color coding of the resistance that BB Roy Great Britain very good woman. So you have to just memorize once that mm, the first thing is the first digit the second digit is here we have you can see it, and the third one is the multiplier and the fourth color code line is for the tolerance and that includes only two or for a tolerance colors that if it will be brown then it will be plus minus one percent and if it will be red then it will be plus minus two percent and if it will be yellow then it will be plus minus five percent and then for gray it will be plus minus ten percent so this is the basic simple uh, hint to memorize the resistance color code table so if we talk further about the uh, resistors color code practice then here you can check out that bb roy as i already explained you the first one is the black then brown for the black the number is zero and for the brown the number is one so here we will write one for the browns and the zero for the black and the multiplier here will be the third line or third code lines is zero again similarly for the bb roy for brown for the ones and red for the two and here 
third one is the multiplier zero similarly we, you, you need to practice uh, for all these resistance and so you can also um, uh, make the color code for these resistances that are commonly used in our um, uh, daily basis circuitry and uh, during the PCB components these are the basic or main resistance values that we use in our daily life circuits if we talk about the power ratings you can say the power rating indicates that how much power the resistance can safely tolerate so units is worse that uh, for example so we have uh, if we, when we go further we will also discuss about the power resistors that you can say is a uh, power rating shows that how can a uh, uh, resistor can bear the value of current you can say so as you know the um, formula of power or power is p is equal to vi the product of um, voltage and current and uh, if we put the values of uh, a current here then it is equal to the v over r uh, extracted from the ohm law and if we put here the values of voltage then it will be equal to i square r that will also ex extracted from the ohms law if we talk about the tolerance it is allowed you can see a variation of resistance values from its normal value for example a 100 ohm resistance with 10 percent tolerance means that its value can be any fixed value between 90 to 110 ohm depending upon the materials which we are using or the manufacturers which he has used the quality of materials so the tolerance means that the value will be between the 90 to 110 percent 110 ohms by this we can calculate the efficiency the exact power the exact current the exact voltages uh, and that's required in a, a very you can say uh, smaller circuits uh, that are uh, where the imp impedance involved in these circuits so if we uh, talk about the resistors are further uh, subdivided into the res fixed resistors and the variable resistors and if we talk about the fixed resistors then the carbon component composition resistors carbon film resistors wire wound resistors metal film resistors and variable for the variable resistors are potentiometer, rear states and preset. So if we talk about here further about the fixed resistors, resistors whose value of resistance is specified and cannot be varied is called the fixed resistance as we discussed that with the 10% um, tolerance and the value is fixed between 90 to 110. Similarly, Similarly, in the variable resistors, if we talk about the um, variable resistors, then uh, first the first first fixed value resistor is here carbon composition resistors. And this is a resistive material, finely powdered carbon graphite, and an insulating material. A reason used to bind mixtures. If you check out the body of the resistance, then you will easily understand that this is a, a reason is used to bind the mixtures. And so here used a lead copper wires. Resistance value is between the 1 ohm to 22 mega ohm. So the power the power ratings. If you any any time if you make the PCB, then you will get to know that the power rating is play an important role so here we have the power rating available in the carbon composition resistors a, fix, a fixed value resistor is 1 over 8 watt 1 over 4 watt 1 over 2 watt 1 watt and 2 watt the tolerance rating range is between the 5 percent to 20 percent size increases uh, for high voltage if we increase the voltage then the size of the um, resistors will increase and uh, if you check out here's the composition the carbon filament type carbon composition resistors then you will get to know that uh, here we have the protective coatings that uh, that will protect you from the shock and so then uh, here we have the carbon dust um, that makes the resistors and so then the uh, tin coated leads that allow the current to pass out uh, from the carbon dust 
So if we move further, then you will see here a carbon film resistors that is the second type of the fixed value resistors. Then if we talk about the constructions, then carbon film on an um, insulating core. And so if we you know, talk about the leads, it's also copper wires and resistance value is between the 1 ohm to 10 ohm, uh, 10 mega ohm. And the power rating is uh, 1 over 8 watt, 1 over 4 watt, 1 over 2 watt. And the toler tolerance range is only, uh, you can say, 5%. Mm, and the low power uh, application used in and uh, better stability again, temperature and humidity in this. And if we talk about... Uh, mm, you can see the compositions here then here we have a ceramic rod carbon films uh, approved a way to give value insulating coating here to protect us uh, from the shocks and here we have the end cap and here we have the metal uh, lid or you can say uh, for the um, current to allow to pass and then we if we talk about further about the wire wound resistors then so you can check out the constructions includes the nichrome wire is wound around a ceramic plastic and it also leads the copper wires uh, protected with enamel coatings to protect us from the shocks the resistance value is between the 1 ohm to 100 the power rating is from 3 watt to 200 watt used for the higher power ratings the tolerance with the tolerance range of 5% and it's reliable and stable with stand up up to 450 degrees centigrade and the disadvantages is that it's larger in size high cost and poor high frequency response because of the high voltage so here you can see uh, how it looks like uh, if we move further so then we talk about the matter film resistors the resistor materials um, is nichrome leads copper wires and the resistance values is uh, depends upon the uh, resistor we can, we are choosing. Uh, it, it's not uh, you can say um, it's uh, it's uh, available in less than one ohm values, and its tolerance range is uh, um, 0.05 percent, and its a low temperature coefficient and good stability, and it's more accurate. Here you can see the manufacture um, or the manufacturing of metal film resistors. I hope uh, that you enjoyed the video. If you require any type of assistance and tutoring assistance in your electrical and electronics subjects or fields or projects, then you can ping me a message on my WhatsApp number that is given in the descriptions. And also you can visit my Upwork and Fiverr profile. Uh, we will continue the variable resistors in the next video. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe the subscribe my channels and like the video and share with your friends. Thank you.